everybody, it's Angie with Angie's Place. I hope you're doing well today. Today we are going to be reading Psalms 9, 10, and 11. We also have, let me set this up just a little bit better. That's kind of weird, but it's way up there again. Okay, anyway, sorry about that. Um, anyway, if you'll hit the like and the subscribe down below, that will help generate this to people who don't have a Bible or who are commuting and need to listen to a Bible. Anyway, don't forget to check out our um, thing on Revelations, the New Testament, and Women of the Bible. We've got both Eve and Sarah. Anyway, we're going to begin. Thank you. Psalms 9, Prayer and Thanksgiving for the righteous for the Lord's Righteous Judgments to the chief musician, to the tune of Death of the Son, a Psalm of David. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell you of your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you, and I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they shall fall and perish at your presence, for you shall be maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne judging in righteousness. You have revoked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. O oh, enemy, destructions are finished forever. You have destroyed cities. Even their memory has perished. But the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. He shall judge the whole world in righteousness, and he shall administer judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord will also be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you, for you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare his deeds among the people. When he avenges blood, he remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the humble. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Consider my trouble from those who hate me. You who lift me up from the gates of death that I may tell of all your praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in your salvation. The nations have sunk down in the pit which they are made, and the net in which they hid their own foot is caught. The Lord is known by the judgment he executes. The wicked is snarled in the work of his own hands. Meditation. Selah. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forgot God, for all the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, do not let man prevail. Let the nations be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. A song of confidence in God's triumph over evil. This is Psalms 10. Why do you stand afar off, O Lord? Why do you hide in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride persecutes the poor. Let them be caught in the plots for which they have devised. For the wicked boast of his heart's desire, and he blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. The wicked in his proud confidence does not seek God. God is in his throne in his thoughts he his ways are always prospering your judgments are above all out of his, out of his sight as for his enemies he sins he sneers at them he has said in his heart i shall not be moved i shall never be an adversary his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and oppression under his tongue is trouble and iniquity he sits on the lurking places of the village in the secret places that he murders the innocent. His eyes are secretly fixed on the helpless. He lies in wait secretly as Zion, as the lion in his den. He lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches the poor when he draws him into his net. So he crouches, he lies low, that the helpless may fall by his strength. He has said in his heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face. He will never see. Arise, O Lord. O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the humble. Why do the wicked renounce God? 
he has said in his heart, you will not require an account. You have seen, for you have observed trouble and grief to repay it by your hand. The helpless commits himself to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his weakness until you find none. The Lord is the king forever and ever. The nations have perished out of his land. Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will prepare their hearts. You will cause the, your ear to hear, to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may oppress no more. Psalms 11, Faith in the Lord's Righteousness, to the chief musician, a song of David. And the Lord, by put my trust, how can you say to my soul, flee as the bird to your mountains? For look, the wicked bend their bow. They are ready their arrow on the string, that they may shoot secretly at an upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes beheld. His eyes test the son of men. The Lord tests the righteous. But the wicked and the one who loves violence, his soul hates. Upon the wicked, he will rain coals. Fire and brimstone and burning wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteousness. His countenance beholds the upright. In a way, when you're reading these, that's the end of, of chapter 11. In a way, while we're reading this, it's kind of like... Um, these psalms are, are sort of like poems and because they're they're quite poetic in saying how how much they love god and how mighty he is anyway i hope you have a wonderful day and please hit the like and the subscribe down below and i will see you on the next video bye